Welcome to What's Happening. I'm your host, Paula Hersey, and I'm here today with Neil McGarry from the Bay Colony Shakespeare Company. Welcome, Neil. Hi, Paula. Thank you. We're talking about what to do this summer, and we hear that you've got some summer theater that's just amazing. The Bay Colony Shakespeare Company, can you tell us a little bit about it? I can. We are a theater company, classical theater company, based on the South Shore, okay. uh, and we've played on the Cape. We're, we've been around for 18 months, What? and we have a season of three plays playing in Plymouth at the Spire Center for Performing Arts. It's a new venue. It's a historical building, a church that was built in 1886, um, and it has had many different lives. And it was purchased or by the Greater Plymouth Performing Arts Center as a venue, a concert venue, and theater venue. They opened in April. They've been doing concerts steadily since that time, and we are their July tenant. And we are bringing Much Ado About Nothing, Macbeth and Hamlet from July 2nd to August 3rd. That just sounds wonderful. Uh, Much Ado is actually my favorite Shakespeare play. Um, but for the folks out there that um, don't remember their ninth grade uh, <laughs> Shakespeare classes, can you give us just a brief overview of each of those plays? Um, I know, Shakespeare brief doesn't really uh, always no, go together. Yeah, it doesn't. But uh, Much Ado, set, we're setting it. Uh, just after World War II, the boys are coming home. It's um, and it's the first of the romantic comedies. It's basically the the uh, the father of all the screwball comedies from the 40s, um, and the the two young lovers that things go wrong, and the older lovers that don't know they're they're supposed to be together, and how do they get together? And it's a whole lot of stuff about what Shakespeare says about about nothing, about it, nothing. except. <laughs> It's about everything. The seeds of all the other plays are there. And it's a play where the, the of second chances. Oh, that's and, a great way to say it. And it's, and it's fun, and it's, and it's funny. Very, very, very funny. Excellent. Um, I did it many years ago. I got my equity card playing Benedict, and I get to play it again this year. And it's got a, a whole bunch of new talent we're growing talent. And then we've got Macbeth playing um, in and Hamlet. We, um, Macbeth is Macbeth, <laughs> the, the um, great warrior who, through his ambition, decides he wants to be king, kills the king. Uh, hilarity ensues. No, um, <laughs> bad things happen, and um, we learn that people shouldn't do things like that. Um, except it's much, much better. And then Hamlet. The classic. The, and they all ask the big questions. Hamlet's the big one, to be or not to be. But it asks so many other, other questions. Hamlet's been one that we've, been, um, we've had a love affair with for the last year. I played it last summer. Uh, it was our second production. And then we did a school tour of it in January, January, February, or March. And I was supposed to do it again, and uh, with childcare issues and such, we had to. Uh, one of our young actors who was supposed to play Guildenstern, he was moved up, and um, he did Hamlet, did, acquitted himself very well, and he's going to be with us playing several different roles, and Hamlet's his big, his big part. Well, that's great. It's always nice to see a, a young kid get their start and, yeah. and really uh, move up into the company. So you have uh, uh, multiple actors here in the company now. So has that company grown a lot more since you started 18 it, months ago? It has. I mean, it, I mean, it started with me. <laughs> right. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but it started with me. I started it uh, with the solo show Burbage, uh, which yeah. played in Boston and then down here. Um, and then Hamlet last year was a company of 14. Uh, two have, of whom have continued with us. Uh, James Bocock was Laertes in that production and then was Polonius in this production in the winter. He is booked, unfortunately. Um, but David Frank, who played our Player King last year, he is playing Polonius this summer with us again and multiple roles in the other plays as well. 
Great. It's wonderful to see a um, theater company grow such as yourself. And again, it's Much Ado About Nothing, mm. Macbeth, and Hamlet. Um, these performances, do they run matinees? Are they on the weekends? We are, uh, first week is, uh, first week of previews, it's four performances. The second week, it's six performances as the two plays alternate in repertory. We'll, we'll open with, with Much Ado on the 8th, Macbeth on the 9th, Much Ado, Macbeth, Much Ado, Macbeth. Oh my goodness. And then do the same thing the next week, so six more performances, but we'll be rehearsing Hamlet during the day. On the 23rd, we preview Hamlet and bring that into the rep, and that will open on the 26th, and then all three shows will run in rep. And um, Macbeth, uh, my associate artistic director, Ross McDonald, is playing Macbeth. He did it to great acclaim in England. And wow. he, uh, he's a British Army Afghanistan vet of 07 and married an American after that and came to the States and began his career again. And wow. he and I have been uh, slaving away at this for 18 months. And it's amazing that you're running all of these shows concurrently. I think he said, so he said at one of our things, <laughs> I, I don't, he, he said, go big or go home. Um, so. <laughs> That's where we're right. at. Um, exactly. It's, it's, uh, so it's they run June, uh, July and August. We open July 2nd, run till August 3rd. Run to August 3rd, okay. And the um, Spire Theater. Spire Center for Performing, Performing Arts, Arts. 25 and a half Court Street, downtown okay. Plymouth, America's okay. hometown. It's the birthplace of us. And uh, they're having a revitalization in their in their right. town. Oh, Plymouth and has really done a great job yeah. recently with, you know, different businesses and, and, and things coming to that uh, area. So. The Philharmonic, they're, they're great. It's amazing. We've got three really great orchestras yeah. between Boston and Cape Cod. And Cape Cod right. Symphony, Plymouth Philharmonic, the Atlantic Symphony, and it's amazing stuff. And, and right. we're kind of like, here, here we are. And we're new and people are following us. Excellent. Nice. So how do people get more information? Um, you have a website? We do. www.baycolonyshakespeare.org. Okay. See all the news that's fit to print. We're, uh, all the things that we've done. Okay. Uh, all the things that we are doing. Um, we've had quite an education program that's been going on on the side and we're working to form our veterans returning people. Ross is a, is a, is a vet. Yeah. And bringing people home. Okay. Um, and you're, I think, on Facebook as well? We are on Facebook. And I think Friend maybe I just saw you on Twitter? Yes. <laughs> yes, we're on Twitter too. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, it, that's new. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm not the, the Twitter person yet. I suspect I will need to be, but um, one of the company Great. will. But we can find you in multiple ways. You can find so us in a website. Places. Yes. Facebook or Twitter, um, you can get tickets on your website. Can you buy them online? You can uh, do the link to okay. our website or go to spirecenter.org okay. and do it there. Um, everything's live. Okay. Come Excellent. on down. It's going to be quite a, quite a time. I, I, Plymouth is in for something very, very special. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm going to go to Much Ado About Nothing in July, so I'm yes. really looking forward to it. And I encourage all the viewers out there to check out baycolonyshakespeare.org for more information on Neil McGarry and uh, what the theater productions are doing for Shakespeare this year yeah. at the Spire Theater. Thank you. Thank you.